Hi there, this is Alvin and welcome to kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'd like to share with you some tips and tricks that I use when searching for expired domains via GoDaddy's aftermarket auction or their auction platform. And so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. And so I've already logged into uh, my GoDaddy account and so essentially what you will need is um, the auctions membership and that can be purchased I believe for like four or five dollars a year at the current moment in time needless to say when you are from your my products page you'll just go to auctions membership and you'll click manage and it'll take you over to the domain name aftermarket auctions uh, section of GoDaddy's website and for instance what I'll do I'll just show you now I'll click the domain and what you'll want to purchase is this domain auction or if you have more than 15 or so domains that you own um, and you want to receive a discount on those domain renewals for each one of them then go ahead and subscribe to the discount domain club and that's what I use and when you buy the discount domain club domain auction already comes with it so that being said we'll click out of there and so essentially what I want to show you is the ability that you can use uh, searches and so GoDaddy provides featured most active expiring ending soon fixed price closeouts bargain bin and A to Z listings now you'll notice that closeouts and bargain bin closeouts and bargain bin they don't require um, any membership so you can always review and purchase uh, bargain bin and closeouts. Closeouts are basically reverse auctions. So um, think of it as a given domain did not get receive a bid, and so it will then reverse auction all the way from eleven dollars, and then I think it goes like eleven for twenty four hours, ten for twenty four hours, uh, nine, eight, and five. Five dollars is the last opportunity that you have to purchase. Um, but that being said, what you'll want to do in terms of some of the searches that you have, and so I have no safe searches, so I want to create one. And this is the way there are hundreds of thousands of domains that expire daily via the GoDaddy aftermarket. And so what you'll want to do is click Add New. This will open up to the advanced search, and you can search for all sorts of it, extensions. Um, the legacyextensions.com.org dot net dot info dot us dot uh, co uh, dot biz as well as you can start to see many of the new domain extensions and so if you wanted to say hey I only want to search for um, domains that are expiring or in auction rather um, that are dot accountants then you could do that for this though I'm just gonna set I want it to only return dot com and then what you have here is keywords you can do exact match you can do begins with or contains or ends with. And so oftentimes I'll just go ahead and do something like contains. Um, that being said, you can, you know, if it, you got to watch out for word collisions. And so obviously things like if you want it, you know, hit, well, you got to think of it's going to return every word with hit in it. Or if you said hit, then what you may want to do if you want the domain to end in hits then you say ends with hits um, you can also set the minimum price and what I tend to do though is I'll set something like this and I'll say um, let's let's see what's a good example here all right we'll go with um, we'll go with garden all right, and so we'll go with the plural of garden. Um, and then what we'll say is I won't set a price, but then typically what I do is I want to see um, the different types of auctions. And the ones that I typically focus on are the expiring auctions as well as the closeout auctions. These two are the ones that are selected on the screen there. Um, expiring auctions and closeout auctions those are the ones that people have let expire so they have not renewed them um, public auctions are auctions that are actually owned by other people and that they're auctioning them away so you can feel free to do those I typically don't like I said because I, I typically focus on um, expiring domains and closeouts next you can include dashes 
which I don't want to include, and you can include digits, um, numeric. So uh, I don't want to include those. And then you can tell how many um, characters. And so oftentimes I'll put in something like no more than, uh, let's say, 15 characters. Um, and then you'll have to slide over and you can look at the attributes that are you know marked on these different I typically leave this blank and then oftentimes you know ending in X amount of days so I may do this uh, once a week or twice a week and so I may set it to anything less than um, we'll just set it less than eight days so that'll cover the week. I don't pay attention to the traffic numbers, and I advise you not to trust them either. Um, those numbers can definitely can be fudged in terms of you know people sending um, automated traffic to these to these various uh, domains. And then you can place, hey, I want to look for bids that are more than a certain bid, or exactly a certain bid, or less than. And so oftentimes, I want to focus on domain names that have less than two bids. And then this is the key area here that um, I typically will search for domains that have aged. So anything, uh, let's say 10 years, or oftentimes I use 15, just because uh, I'm not really, not that I don't look for you know domains that are younger than that I do oftentimes if you know truly being transparent here I'll use something like 3 5 7 10 15 20 those are the cutoffs that I will typically use and then once I once I create those all you have to do is save the search actually let me go back cuz I didn't put an age in there we will put in 15 actually we'll put in 3 um, just to see what returns. We'll click Save. We will name this Gardens Domains. And then here you can actually sort by, and what I do is basically do the estimated value. So GoDaddy provides an estimated value of what they think the uh, domain is worth. I don't necessarily pay attention to it, but I do sort by it just to make it somewhat easier on my eyes in terms of likely is the case that they give it great value, then I want to know about it. And then we'll click OK. And then it'll save that search for you. And so now you should. So now it, it basically returns a search for you. And here now you can see the Guardian Domain search is there. And you can see here now you have um, ancientgardens.com. And it expires here in seven days and two hours. You have Mosaic Gardens, Pirate Gardens. Um, on and on and on and on. Garden State Yoga. And see, so you get things like this to where it was gardens. And so if I only wanted gardens at the end, I should have put at the end. But since I did contain, it's Garden State. And so you get some things that are caught up in there like that that um, aren't necessarily, I guess you'd say, um, what you would what you hope for and so how you change that is you can go back in and say I want to manage I want to edit and you can add to a daily email that you receive um, this daily email you can also export top 40,000 rows of search results um, there are not that many in this one but we'll go ahead and click edit and it'll pop back open the bar here and what I'll do is say I want to go back and now I want to include single and plural and then we're going to change it to be 10 years and then instead of exactly we want less than two bids and change our characters 20 not 200, oh, 20, there we go, and then we'll click save, we'll click OK, yes, we know that we're going to overwrite it, 
And essentially what we can do before we overwrite that is change the name, take the uh, plural, take the S off, make it singular. So now it will return any domain that has the name garden. So plural or singular, it will return it now. And so now, as you can see, sensorygarden.com was not there. Perpetual garden was not there. Garden and Gateway was not there. Garden Furniture Mall was not there. And so you can see that um, there are quite a bit that were not there. Now you can do this for a number of different, and so see there I still have the singular, I have singular and plural, and then I have plural only, save the searches. You can have a number of searches based upon your uh, keyword uh, search or whatever your desirable keyword, keyword phrase is. And so I use this uh, quite often on a daily basis um, to identify keywords so that I'm just not looking through, you know, most active or expiring soon because there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of domains um, within those categories, within GoDaddy provided categories. And you can see, I mean, they're all over the place. And so it would take quite a bit of time to, um, be able to actually go through these and really make any sense. So use the filter option, the save search option, and that will uh, definitely make your life a lot easier in terms of finding and pinpointing um, expired domains within your given industry or market. That being said, I hope that that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Also, please feel free to go over to kickstartcommerce.com and go ahead and subscribe to uh, the Kickstart Commerce channel where I basically deliver a video, tutorial video like the one that you just saw here every Wednesday. Um, so subscribe there. Also visit kickstartcommerce.com. Come down here to the Daily Scoop. This is the newsletter that I provide uh, that basically gives you the tips and tricks for the latest search marketing and domain name investing strategies or digital strategy to help you grow your business. So I hope that this tutorial has helped you and I look forward to bringing you the next one next week. Thanks. And that's all for now.